Two boys walk across and over steep hillsides. It's the first time in a month they've made this trek. It's the first time in a month they've been able to go to school. Their school in Mount Jacko, like thousands of others, was destroyed in the magnitude 7 earthquake that struck Haiti exactly a month ago. Government buildings too were destroyed, including the Ministry of Education, and in the fight to survive, the education was all but forgotten. Despite this, Haiti's Minister of Education, based now in UNESCO Port au Prince office, has been hard at work to get Haitian children back to school in whatever way he can. Globalement, nous parlons de 5 000 écoles euh, qui représentent près de 90% euh, du parc scolaire dans l'Ouest et c'est à peu près euh, autour de 35 à 40% du parc scolaire en Haïti. Donc ce sont des, des dégâts assez énormes pour le système éducatif haïtien et c'est vrai de 50% de la population scolaire qui est affectée. Working in partnership with UNICEF, schools in unaffected areas have reopened, while schools in box, which include a standalone emergency school tent, and school supplies have arrived at UNICEF's storage facility to cater to affected areas. After an intensive training session with volunteer Haitian Boy Scouts and erecting the tents, the distribution begins. But the Mount Jacko School, which is run by missionaries and caters to hundreds of children in the surrounding communities, is a special case. Almost inaccessible by road, a helicopter carries the equipment to a mountaintop landing site, and from there, it's carried to the school, several kilometers away. A day later, and exactly a month after the quake, hundreds of Haitian children here return to school. L'education is so important for pour développer dans le pays. Alors le, le développement so du pays vient par l'éducation. Il faut dire que c'est la base. La reconstruction d'Agradaï doit commencer tout d'abord avec l'éducation. Un peuple éduqué va progresser facilement. The distribution of books, chalkboards, pencils and crayons mean that within minutes, classes are in progress and have picked up where they left off one month ago. Besides the obvious benefits of getting an education, the return to school is also a return to normality for these children, all of whom have suffered through the horror of the quake. Many have lost family, friends and homes. All have lost their school. We need to have a space where we can guard the children and give them some sense of normality. A lot of these children have been traumatized and also their parents, their teachers, the whole community and this is healing also what has happened and gives them a space to, to come together and to express themselves and being protected and also giving them the opportunity to come back and learn and not to lose the, the school year that has started. Exactly one month after the quake, these children are able to start putting the tragedy behind them, are able to start moving on with their education and their lives. Mount Jacko is the first of an initial 150 school tents that will be set up for the affected population by UNICEF in the coming weeks. One month after the quake, Haitians mourn their dead, their injured, and their devastated country. But they're also looking to the future, looking to rebuild. But for Haiti to be rebuilt, for Haiti to have a future, its children must be educated.